Okay, so here we are with the Coyote TK40 and the uh, Rad Blizzard snowblower. Uh, we just got done putting the uh, hydraulic cylinder for the remote uh, deflector on the chute on. Hooked it into the second rear remote, uh, but there's a little problem with this uh, that I want to show you that we're going to try and correct today. Okay, so here's the uh, remote levers to control the uh, hydraulic chute. The longer one uh, is controlling the uh, chute rotation. The smaller one is controlling the deflector up and down. Now if you push the deflector hydraulic lever you can see that it locks into position. It doesn't have very much throw to it before it locks into position and it's kind of tough, it, you know, it's a little bit jerky to operate it because it has a detent in there. Now that's fine if you want to uh, operate a, um, a log splitter or something like that off the rear that you have to have the hydraulic system uh, maintain flow for but to operate a cylinder like our hydraulic chute deflector uh, it's not so good so we're going to try and fix that today by taking out the uh, detent um, position for that uh, hydraulic valve. Uh, we have to get at it underneath the seat uh, so we'll be taking the seat off next. Okay so here you can see we have the seat off there's nine uh, small bolts that hold that seat pan to the top uh, part of the uh, cover. Uh, you can see the seat is up there. I just put it up there temporarily because we're going to be putting it right back on afterwards. There's a uh, 12 millimeter size bolts, nine of them that you got to take off that exposes the uh, valves and things you need to get at. So now you can see when the lever is pushed okay push it backwards okay see how hard that is to operate so so there's our valve that we have to work on and uh, we're going to be taking off this cover here to expose the, uh, the valve detent. Okay, and I'll show you how that comes off in a minute. Okay, now here we've cleaned up our valve a little bit before we started to disassemble it, sprayed it down with a little WD-40 and a rag, we put a clean rag underneath it. Now we've taken a 24 millimeter wrench and we've loosened this cover so that we can get it off to expose our valve piece. You see that comes off and inside here are these little uh, like ball bearings that are the detent balls uh, to hold the valve in position. That is what we're going to remove to keep this valve from staying in position. Okay. So hopefully you can see how that um, end of the valve is a small tube and you can see that small hole there on the side. There's actually three holes and there's one in the end and there's uh, three holes. So there's four small like ball bearings that come out of there and there's a spring behind them. You have to take those th uh, four ball bearings out and the spring out of there to remove the detent function from the valve. You can see here there's the uh, three, uh, four small ball bearings. You can see there's the three that go in the three holes that are around the edge of the tube and then there's one that goes in the end of the tube and then there's the spring that's behind them that uh, 
returns that, that keeps a pressure on the balls to keep them out so that what they can go into the little latches that engage the uh, the tent notch okay so that's what was removed from the valve now we're going to put the cover back on the valve and put it all back together I'm recording okay so you can see we've got our cover back on the valve it's tight and um, the function of the valve you can see does not stick in position anymore so it works just like the other one spring return to neutral just like the way we want it okay so that's what we did to take the detent balls out of that valve to get it to operate and not stay on Okay, here we are with the tractor running. The seat is back on. Uh, we did do a test to make sure there were no hydraulic leaks uh, before we put the seat back on. So that's a good idea before you close things up to make sure you start it, make sure that there's no leaks. But we'll give a test of the valve. And you can see it operates Watch the shoe. Okay, the valve operates nice and smoothly. So you can see the shoe. Operates just the way we want it. Okay, you've got good control of the shoe, and the lever doesn't stick on anymore, which is what we were trying to achieve. So, I think we'll consider this job a success. Until next time, thanks for watching.